Good morning, this is Distracted Beam. I'm going to show you two things today. First, I'm going to show you how to stream music live over Mumble using Winamp. And the second thing I'm going to show you is how to record your gameplay without the music that is currently playing over your speakers. You're going to need virtual audio cable, you're going to need Mumble, you're going to need Winamp, and you'll need Bandicam to do the recording if you wish to. First thing you need is a virtual audio cable. This is where you find it. It does cost money. You get the trial version or you can buy it. I've purchased it. And then you'll end up with virtual audio cable, which I have shortcut to this folder. And this is where the magic happens. Here you have your virtual audio cable control panel. What this does is it adds a virtual sound card to your system. And it'll start out, it'll say one. I've currently set it to two because that is what my needs are. You hit set. I could give you an error if it does, then you just restart your computer and that's it. It's done. So that now has put on two new virtual sound cards. Boom. Good to go. Next thing you need is a Winamp. Winamp is just an audio player. It plays whatever files, audio files, music files, media files are on your computer. And then you should have this program right here. If you go to Options, Preferences, Plugins, Output, Null Soft Direct Sound Output. And right here, they would normally say Primary Sound Driver, but I put set it to Line 1 Virtual Audio Cable. What that does is now it's taking the information from here, the audio, and it needs to send it somewhere and we're sending it to that virtual sound card. So it's taking this information and you hit play, you won't hear it. You won't hear anything. Turn the volume all the way up, 100%. There's nothing there because it is currently sending it to a virtual sound card which is not plugged into anything. I'm going to first disconnect. But what I need to do is I need to be able to open up two instances of Mumble. Right click hit properties. Under shortcut tab, your target. This is, there's a quote, and then the target itself, which is mumble.exe, wherever you put it. Then another quote. After that, you hit space, minus M. Hit OK. Now if you double click. Now you have two copies of Mumble. And so, first I just, and I'm going to connect over here. So, I find the one I want to go to. First you have to go to Configure, Settings, Network, Reconnect Automatically, I turn that off, Reconnect the last server on Startup, Suppress Certificate and Password Storage, that's the important one. You turn that on, and what that does is it makes it whatever you connect to, it is no longer authenticated to, it's just, uh, just for guesswork. This is mostly for testing purposes. So you do that, now you hit Connect, Right click on the server you want, hit edit, and now you change your name to whatever you want. I usually use music for this. Hit OK. Now I have myself, this is where I can hear everything that's being transferred to the speakers. This here is music, which is currently being controlled by this one. Music is going to be the sound that I play over Winamp, and it's going to be sending that information to Mumble for me to hear here. Settings. Output, I turn the volume all the way to zero. That way it only plays it off of one instance of mumble. Configure, settings, input, you hit continuous. Device, this is going to be the input device, which is going to be line one, virtual audio cable. This I put it on disabled. This is going to be music. I want the quality up and I want the processing down. Hit OK. Now I got music. Alright, now it's only playing it once. It's playing it over this one. This is me. And this is my music. So, now if I go in here and I play anything that I want to, it will currently be broadcasting it from here to my Mumble server, which is slid as bad, and then back to me. Okay, so you're playing World of Warcraft and you're, you've got Mumble going on in the background and you've got some music going on in the background and you're doing some recording of the video because you want to put it in the video for YouTube later on. 
but you want to add your own music into it later. You don't want to remove the sound effects of the the uh, the slams from the shields and the weapons and the mage fireballs and all that. You want to keep all that intact, but you don't want to hear the music because you want to put your own music in there, and it would end up sounding choppy with all the working that you're going to do now. So this is what you do. You will need still virtual audio cable, which we did in the previous tutorial. Virtual audio cable. And you're going to need to set that up to have two cables, one for the mumble and then another one for what we're about to do. So you set up the two, hit set. If it gives you an error, just restart your computer and you'll be good to go. And hit exit. And now you've got two virtual sound cards. Second thing you need to do, audio repeater. This is going to real time take information from one device and duplicate it, put it into another device. What we're going to be doing here, we're going to take the wave in going to be line 2. This is going to be what I have Warcraft set up to transmit to. It's not going to be set to transmit to my speakers, it's going to be set to transmit to this virtual sound card. Wave out, Microsoft Sound Mapper. Click on that. Total buffer. I put this to 50 and I'll show you why. 50 will be a huge lag in the sound basically if you keep it at 500. Put it to 50 and this is what I've just been practicing with and it works. So now it is taking information directly from line 2 and putting it in my Microsoft Sound Mapper. You don't notice anything right now because it's not really doing anything. So, uh, but if I did put any information into my line 2, it would now be playing over my speakers. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing. I'm going to go to my game. stop on this just for now so you can hear what the difference is. Alright, so right now if I click on something you can hear kind of a click. Alright, so I'll go to sound and turn the volume all the way up, which it already is. Right now it's a system default. What that means is it's taking the information from Warcraft, playing it over your speakers. We don't want it to do that. We want it to send the information from Warcraft, send it to line 2. That's the virtual sound card line 2. Hit OK. Now keep in mind, I got this stopped right now, so it's not doing anything. So if you play anything over here now, there's no sound to it whatsoever. So I'm going to start this. Now it's taking the information. World of Warcraft is sending it to my virtual sound card. This is taking it, sending it from my virtual sound card to my speakers, and now I should have sound. Okay. So now I have information that's playing only over my line 2, and uh, then it's taking that information and sending it to my speakers. So now, now that I have that set to its own sound card, now I can use Bandicam and have it set to record uh, my Vista sound or my line 2. So line 2 is only my Warcraft, over here I've got my microphone, or you can set it to record anything you want, okay? 